morning, it's Rashida on the loose in Colombia. I am staying in a beautiful Airbnb in the Sonesta Hotel, which is on the very north end of the beach in Cartagena. Um, you can hear a rooster in the background because this hotel is on the end of the strip of hotels and then the, like a local neighborhood starts after that and I guess someone has chickens so um, if you come outside in the morning you hear the rooster which kind of feels like Jamaica so it feels a lot like home to me. Anyway, um, if you've been watching my Insta stories you know that I am taking scuba diving lessons and I'm super excited about scuba, scuba diving because I absolutely love water activities. Love, love, love water activities. Um, and I decided to get certified for open water scuba diving for a couple of very particular reasons. Um, one, I don't feel like I'm as strong a swimmer as I used to be, and I wanted another reason to practice my swimming and get stronger. The other is that I love when I say I love water activities, I think I kind of mean I love being on top of the water, in a boat, in a canoe, kayak, paddleboard, but I haven't really been feeling a love of being in the water lately. So um, I want to do something that would get me in the water. I've tried snorkeling before, and I absolutely hate snorkeling. I don't know why, but it always feels like I'm choking and I can't breathe. So instead of going out and doing like a practice dive, I went all the way in and I signed up for this lesson because I knew this would get me a little bit more committed to the adventure than a practice dive would. And the first, the uh, scuba diving lessons come in two parts. There is a theory part in class and then there is a sort of a practice. So you go and do I think maybe like five or six practice dives, a couple in a pool and then some in open water. Uh, in about an hour or so, I'm going to head out to meet the scuba diving people at their office in Cartagena. I want the diving planet in case anyone's here and is interested. They have really great reviews. So I'm going to the diving planet office to meet them and maybe do some stuff here like get what soups, etc. I don't know. Um, they didn't say. And then I, we're going to take a beach to Rosario Island and do some practice dives in the pool there. So uh, for the past two days, I signed up three days ago, so for the past two days I have been doing the practice portion, which is an online portion of the class, and it's, um, very short snippets of education, and then the next button, so maybe like a minute, and then the next button. And so in order to scuba dive, I have to start one. Now, early on I said I was learning to scuba dive because I don't like to snorkel. Do you understand why this is exactly not what I wanted, right? Like, I don't, I, I have to snorkel getting in and out of the boat, but I don't want to snorkel. I just want that good oxygen coming to me, not that, like, water, mix thing, snorkeling, yuck. Okay, so I have to get over that. And then I find out that um, like there's lots of talk about like swimming through the current. I'm more of a pool swimmer. I don't want to swim through the current. I don't through the current. Like I know logically in my head, like I know the ocean has currents, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so like I'm gonna have to like gather all of my swimming strength for this. Okay, cool. And then. They talk about how to detangle yourself from when if you get caught up in things in the ocean. Caught up in things in the ocean. Keep your trash out the ocean. So I don't get caught up in things when I'm a baby scuba diver. Like I don't. Yeah. And then there's a section about like how you can cut yourself on coral. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. We get to this uh, part about scuba equipment, and they talk about scuba knives and how it's good for cutting yourself out of things if you need to. But also, how we shouldn't think we're in a movie, and um, we're not supposed to use our scuba knives to fight off any animals, including sharks. I'm 
come out of the ocean. There's a shark coming at me to instruction. The shark is close enough for my little arms, my baby arms, to reach him. Which means he's close enough to bite the fuck out of me. I have a scuba knife. I'm not supposed to fight the shark with the knife. I'm supposed to just leave the knife in case I get hooked up in a fishing line. So when the shark comes, what do I do? See, they never told us. They never told us what to do when the shark comes. They just said, don't, try, don't, don't fight the knife with your shark. Don't fight the shark with your knife. That's not what it's for. Don't use your knife to fight a shark. What do I use to fight a shark? Because if I have a knife and a shark wants to fight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a knife. I'm not, now, backing up a second, I'm not going to try to fight a shark on TV. I don't have some insane death wish. I recognize I am not in an action movie. I am not going to try to fight, fight a shark. But if a shark tries to get me underwater, because they run it up, they run up sharks and other animals, and how we should not use our knife on them. What do I do? And they kept saying that if an animal attacks you underwater, it's probably your fault because it thought you were being aggressive. But okay, it's probably my fault. I get, but do I just die now? Because the animal thought I was being aggressive. Like, what do I, what happens? So yeah, so 12 hours of like, this is how you can die and a little bit of, and it'll be your fault. So headed out now, hoping to come back. Um, I'm gonna wait to upload this video to do a part two after returning because I'm going to an island uh, for two days. So we're gonna stay overnight at the island and then come back to the city. So I'll wait till I come back to Cartagena to upload this video. Um, hopefully I won't have any bruises or cuts or anything else. I already got stung by a jellyfish in Mexico. I don't need that experience again. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm excited, but I am also a little petrified. And I'm sure I'm about to sign a release that says, me, my mom, and my kids can't sue them. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, wish me luck. If no one ever sees this video, if I never manage to upload it, and it's just my family that gets to watch it, I know that I love you. This is my goodbye. It's until until we meet again. <laughs>